Um, welcome everybody to the Women's Conference. My name is Veronica Escobar Winters and I just wanted to share a little bit about my journey to health and wellness. So for me it started when I was younger and um, I always kind of knew, knew intuitively that the earth had everything that I could ever possibly want and need to live a healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, ever since I was little, when we would go to the doctor, we did have um, a traditional doctor uh, in Western culture that you would typically have. Um, except I, you know, my doctor was a little bit slower than most to give us medicines when we were um, medicine when we were sick and whatnot. But I always knew, even when I it was time for me to get my shots and stuff growing up. I always knew that I didn't want that in my body and at the time I couldn't really understand but um, why I was so scared to get these shots and for me I thought it was the needle but later, later on down in life I realized that it wasn't so much the needle that I was scared of but what was trying to be put into my body into my temple and I just knew within me at such a young age that that's something that I personally didn't want to be put in my body I just didn't really know to that greater extent um, where that fear was coming from or that you know um, concern I should say but now I do and so I do believe that we all have this within us um, that we know what our body needs what our body wants and that we know the truth that the earth was put here for us to uh, one of the reasons is to gift us um, all the amazing earth medicine that is ready and available for us. So with that being said, um, when I was 15 and a half, I started driving. <laughs> so um, I would go to a local health food store named Lassen's in Ventura, and I would spend hours there uh, talking to all the workers, and I became friends with them, with the employees, and I would just be uh, looking at all the, in the, uh, vitamin supplement, um, you know, uh, herbal medicines, homeopathic medicine sections, just kind of asking them questions about what this is good for and um, reading reading the back of the bottles and of the boxes and whatnot and just kind of um, teaching myself about it. And I just fell in love with it and I instantly felt this connection and I knew that this is what I uh, wanted all along, you know? so. That triggered um, this journey for me, and till this day, it is one of my favorite stores to just go to and spend some time in. It's like my little getaway. But, um, you know, that opened the doors to my journey, I believe, and everybody's journey looks different. And for me, I started tapping into massage therapy, and when I went to massage school, um, that opened up a whole other door um, and uh, of possibilities for me. And when I was studying massage, we also learned basic aromatherapy essential oils so that we could blend our own oils, our lotions. And again, when I took that class, I just fell in love with it. And that opened the door for me later on, um, a few years later, to study uh, clinical aromatherapy. So, um, and then that led me to study flower essences and um, then energy, Reiki energy healing. Um, and then uh, through this time, I was a vegetarian. I'm vegan now, but at that time I was vegetarian. And so again, that opened up a whole other world for me. Um, just knowing, uh, for me, I chose to be vegetarian for health reasons, but mainly because I just couldn't kill or harm an animal. I've always been an animal lover since I was little. I wouldn't even kill an ant when I was little. Like, my parents told me that even since I was like two, I would always walk around the ants and tell them, don't step on the ants, don't step on the ants. So for me, it came from a deep compassion for animals and for protecting the earth. And so that led me um, later on, years down the road, to study holistic nutritional coaching. So, um, you know, just paying attention to all these different things that just drew me to them and I applied them to my own life and I was able to see um, what it did for me personally that my passion went further 
further uh, along where I decided that I wanted to study it and um, I guess use it as a career, if you want to call it that. Um, I believe it's so much more greater than that, but it's a passion of mine and I love applying these things to my own life. I love sharing it with everybody around me. I could just talk about all this stuff for hours, really, honestly, and I just enjoy it, you know? Um, and these interests opened up other things and, you know, I collected all these things in my in my um, bag, my tool bag, and I know that it's only gonna get bigger and bigger and I'm gonna collect more tools to be able to share. Um, but I think my greatest passion of it all is that I get to share it with others and I get to encourage them to start their own personal journey to health and wellness. Um, and again, it's all unique and you know, your road will start um, at different times of your life. It may pause for a second and then go again. But, um, you know, everybody's road to this is unique. But I do believe that it's all instilled within us and that it's something that is um, maybe programmed that we forgot about it. But it's something that we are born with. We all want to... Um, have a healthy beautiful life and it's very very possible to do that and so um, you know I'm here uh, just to cheer you guys on and to tell you that you know it's never too late and with that being said um, before we end here I wanted to share three simple tips that um, you can uh, you know, apply to your life um, to get started on your own personal journey to health and wellness. And the first one I wanted to share was self-love or is self-love. Um, the importance of really loving yourself and beginning to love yourself unconditionally because I think that although there are so many beautiful things that we can do and um, to be able to have a healthy lifestyle, the greatest one of all, especially in my own personal experience, I would say is loving yourself, loving myself and learning to love myself no matter what unconditionally and um, going along this journey from a place of love and not fear or because I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this or somebody told me to do this, but it, it, it's, it's um, being started from a place of love. So the first one is learn to love yourself, always love yourself no matter what. And the second thing I would say is to start where you're at. It's never too late to start. Every day is a new day. And just start right where you're at. Take it one step at a time, one day at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself because I know there's so much out there. There's so much advice on Instagram and on, you know, the internet and all these different classes and uh, books and, and just so much beautiful information out there, but it could also be overwhelming at times. So I just wanted to remind everybody that just to start right where you're at. And again, it's never too late. It's never too late. Take it one day at a time. You're, you're on the right track. You're right where you're supposed to be and beautiful things are coming your way. And the third and least for now, or uh, last for now, I should say, not least. <laughs> actually, it's one of the most important things, I believe, too, that I'm actually learning to cultivate in my own personal life, um, and that is living in the now, living in the present moment. And I'm actually um, a fan of uh, a book called The Power of Now, and it is um, so beautiful to learn to live in the now because the pres the past is gone the future is not here yet but the now is what we have that is our gift the present so learning to live in the present is so important um learning to be thankful and happy where we're at and um in our in our present moment is such a beautiful thing and again I'm I'm still learning this myself but it is something that I wanted to share with all of you guys tonight is or today is that to live in the present live in the moment you know there's no rush there's no rush um, time is on our side and time is uh, one of the most beautiful gifts we can have and living in in the now in the present is so important and it's so peaceful knowing that this is what we have. This is where we get to be. We get to be present. We get to be in the now. And so 
yeah, so I just wanted to leave you all with that. Thank you again so much for allowing me to share with you, for allowing me to be here with you. Um, and if you guys want to reach me, you can find me on Instagram under Elevate Holistic Life or um, on elevateholisticlife.com. Thank you so much. I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to start your journey and continue your journey on a life of health and wellness. Until next time, cheers to your health. Bye.